What would you say is your favourite open space? You don't have to pick Victoria Park just because of that. No, um, well, it's not a very open space. I mean, I live in Muswell Hill and we're quite spoilt for green areas. There's Highgate Wood and there's... Doesn't Alexander that mean you're in Palace. EastEnders? <laughs> Everyone in EastEnders is in Muswell. I know not everyone in yeah, Muswell no, is in EastEnders, no. therefore, but... And um, it's it's a little patch called Queen's Wood, which is actually mainly for you know it's it's oak trees and uh, but it's one of the little bits of London that feels like it's still a wild bit. Queen's of Wood, Queen's Wood, yes, just opposite Highgate Wood. And yesterday it looked like Narnia. It was <laughs> absolutely beautiful, and you know it's full of wildlife. It's full of woodpeckers and and whatever the season. It's great. To, it's great to walk in. Right then, so that's your favourite open space. Now we're going to go into an enclosed space and indeed a shop. Well, the place I go and window shop the most and go into is right at the end of my road because I'm walking the dog past it and I just window gaze and it's called Audio Gold. Oh, you took me there. It is. It's where they, old, mentioned, they mended my turntable. It's where old hi-fi goes to die or often to be <laughs> resurrected. Because when I was a student, the, the first thing you did when you got a student grant was to go out and buy a, a Garrod deck and an Amstrad amp and a set of Wharfdale speakers. No one buys hi-fi much anymore, no. but they've got these fantastic things in there, these old Japanese amplifiers and then you know if i had my way i'd have an old hi-fi system in every room in my house but my wife won't, won't let me <laughs> so are you would you still consider yourself a hi-fi buff i suppose so i can't stand you know i can't stand listening through my kids will listen on a phone to music yeah or through docking stations which to me sound terribly compressed and horrible but you know that's just my ear so yes i you know i still I still listen to I still listen to vinyl like you. Well, they also have a bit of vinyl in that they shop, do. don't they? They do, yes. So what's it called again? Audio Gold. I think you're the first person who's ever picked that as your favourite ever shop. So that's Audio Gold in Muswell Hill, which is kind of where Hi-Fi comes to live again. Um, I'm going to do one more question before we go to the quarter two travel, which is your favourite pub, bar or restaurant? If you'd asked me this two years ago, it would have been the Black Gardenia in Dean Street, which right. is a, a, a basement dive. It was uh, fantastic. It was fantastic. And someone, it might even have been you, said to me, it's a bar that always looked like it's just been burgled. <laughs> you, you went I in, hope I said that. There was nothing in there apart from Ian Shaw, another friend of this show, his upright piano, which he donated there. And it was run by Jake Vegas. And Paloma Faith used to work there, didn't she? She was yep. on the door or, or behind the bar. And it just captured a proper sleazy side of London. And, and then came Crossrail. Yeah. And they demolished it. And now I was thinking, in this weather, where would I like to be? And I'd like to be in a club, which I'm not a member of, called Two Bridges Place. Right. Which is down what used to be the smelliest alley in London. And it might still be the narrowest. Yes. You can't go down it kind of no. chest forward. No, you can't. Not to a breast anyway. No, and they've, but they've cleaned it. But it used to be, you used to felt like you were going to be set upon by foot pads down there. <laughs> it, had that, it had that feeling. But it's, it's up the narrowest, also, sorry, steepest step stairs in London. Yeah. Very dangerous. You can go up all right, but coming down after a couple of drinks. And I, and I was once in there under a, a gun siege outside. There was someone... Really? Yeah. And uh, it closes early. It's, it's not a late night thing. And we were coming down the stairs and the police at the bottom said, someone's got a gun, you've got to go back up. And we said, hold on, is this an officially sanctioned lock-in? <laughs> I suppose it you've is. You've been sent back into the bar 